In the first part of the video, you have learnt the concept of communication and communication simply refers to sharing of meanings both connotative and denotative. Classroom communication is the process of sending and receiving messages distorted by noise within a context with some effect and with an opportunity for feedback. Let us try to analyze the definition to identify the elements that exist in the classroom communication. The elements in the process of classroom communication include the sender of the message. Sender can be a teacher or can be a student as there is role reversal that takes place in the classroom. When a teacher is providing the input, the teacher is the sender of the message. When a student poses a question, clarifies a doubt, provides the feedback, the student becomes the sender of the message. The message is an important component in the process of communication. And message consists of verbal and nonverbal symbols. There is a receiver of the message. Receiver, again, can be a teacher or a student. The sender of the message is involved in the process of encoding. Encoding refers to selection of symbols to transfer the message from the sender to the receiver. And sender is involved in the process of encoding. In a classroom situation, a teacher uses variety of instructional methods and instructional media. Now, when I say instructional methods and media, a teacher may use a lecture method. The teacher may use a case study, seminar or a group discussion as an instructional strategy to transect. Or the teacher uses different types of media including the PowerPoints, the videos. The teacher may use the internet size, the digital media and then try to transfer the message to the receiver of the message. Or a students, when they are working in group, they may use different instructional media when they are in a cooperative or collaborative mode of learning. Decoding is the process which is used by the receiver of the message. And decoding refers to interpretation of the symbols to arrive at the meaning of that symbol. And in a classroom situation, as we said, there can be role reversal. So both teacher and student at different points of time can be involved in the process of decoding as a receiver of the message. There is an element of feedback. Now, when a question is posed by the teacher in the class and the students respond to those that question, it is the feedback the student is providing to the teacher whether the student has understood what the teacher has explained or described. That is the feedback the teacher is receiving. Or when a student has given a reply or response to a question, the teacher tries to provide the feedback to the student saying whether the answer is right or wrong and what part of the response is right and what part of the response is wrong. So there's an element of feedback and without feedback, communication remains one way and it is not a two-way communication process that takes place. But communication is two-way with an important element of feedback in it. Communication takes place in a context. And in a classroom situation, this is referred to as the learning environment. And it may consist of the physical arrangement which has been made in the classroom situation, whether a teacher is going to deliver a lecture and then the seminar hall can be equally good. But if a teacher is going to 
organize a group discussion maybe you require circular kind of in arrangement or you require a u type kind of arrangement where the whole class can have discussion and see each other learning environment also take into consideration the psychological environment which has been created by the sender or by the teacher in the classroom situation whether the students feel comfortable relaxed feel that they are loved and cared or the students feel that they are afraid of the teacher or afraid of going to the classroom that is going to affect the nature and content of communication in the classroom the communication may be closed when any person whether a teacher or a student is afraid of that communication situation so psychological environment which is created is very important and a teacher need to have established the rapport with the students and understand their needs to cater to there is also a social context that means the status hierarchy that exists in the learning environment so learning environment whether it is of cooperation collaboration or it is of competition or the teacher enjoys the repo or students enjoy the repo with each other that is going to affect the learning environment and ultimately the nature and content of communication all these elements interact among themselves to determine the nature and content of communication in classroom situation and the process of communication passes through five different stages the very first stage is the formulation of the message which include collection of material from various sources sifting the material as per the requirements of the audience and in case of classroom communication the syllabus and the needs of the learner they become important in designing a message which need to be provided to the learners in the classroom situation so a teacher tries to sift and modify the material uh, or the message which need to be transferred to the learners and he then tries to select the symbols so that is the second phase or stage in the process of classroom communication so the teacher if he is the sender of the message then he tries to select symbols for the message if the receiver the student becomes the sender of the message then student is involved in the process of encoding of message for the transfer of message a teacher tries to select the channels of communication a variety of channels of communication are available to the teacher and learning outcomes become the basis for selection of the channel channel can be audio channel can be visual or channel can be a combination of the two when you are using a tape recorder and you have a recorded lecture of an expert and you use that for communication in the classroom it is an audio channel or if you are able to show a video it is a combination of audio visual and if you are making use of any chart any image any picture or any diagram it is nothing but a visual channel of communication so a sender of the message tries to select channel of communication to transfer the message from the sender to the receiver then comes the phase of decoding of message the receiver is involved in interpreting the message and arriving at the meaning and feedback as i said is an important stage in the process of classroom communication so for any classroom communication to be effective 
feedback has to be present in the process of communication and classroom communication needs to be two way communication process classroom communication serves important purposes for the teacher and teacher is able to maintain rapport or build relationship with the students and secondly communication in the classroom help the students to build relationship with each other and have a very calm relaxed positive environment in the classroom situation another purpose which is served by the classroom communication is that it helps the teacher in achieving the learning outcome specified for various topics or for the course or the teacher is able to create a conducive environment through communication whereby the students are able to achieve the learning outcomes and the ultimate purpose of any classroom communication is to maximize or optimize learning among the students so we can say classroom communication is a two way process and involves a number of elements which interact among themselves and affect the nature and content of communication and there is also effect on the receiver of the messages